The evolution of the fashion doll aeroplane playset from Barbie to Bratz. Coming right up. <laughs> And here we are again. First of all, let me just explain something about myself when I was a kid in the 70s. I grew up in a lovely little quiet cul-de-sac in Sydney. Oh, that's the cat. And I was mainly had girls to play with. There were a few boys, but one I wasn't allowed to play with, one was just strange and one wasn't allowed out very much. So I, I had two girls across the road, Chris and Lynn, and then Cheryl and Gail next door. So I grew up being quite familiar with Barbie campers, Barbie townhouse. So they got a lot of the lovely 70s Barbie Mattel things and, and, and I would play with them, but I would have my G.I. Joes and my big gym and my big gym camper. But um, I still actually secretly loved all their sort of stuff. I mean, to this day, I don't have a Barbie camper, but if I saw one, I would buy it. I would love one. But um, which leads me to this lovely playset. This is about the first time, um, about the same area period as the as the the country Barbie country camper and the big gym camper, all those sort of vinyl play sets, this came out as well, the Barbie friendship. And I got donated a lovely 2000s another Barbie plane, which I'm going to show you. And I also have a Bratz jet. And I just thought it was interesting how they've changed over the years. So um, to start off with, this is the lovely Barbie friendship, which I got at a car boot sale for 10 bucks. It's in pretty good condition. It's missing. Thank you, Mama Sita. It's missing the rear tail section and it doesn't hook up at the sides like it's supposed to when it's closed. And it doesn't come with the original trolley. Um, very few of the trolleys survived because they were so such flimsy plastic. So I got this one from China online. It wasn't very much. I know it doesn't suit it at all but um, she had to have a trolley of some sort. So um, I love the interior, the, the prints, the bright early mod 70s colors, the details in the kitchen with the cabinets and going into the passengers with the great airline seats and the fold up table. A pretend cabin, of course, it, it just folds up. It's just a pretend door, but um, it's beautiful. They did also apparently do a train very similar to this, but it, it was a train, which is more like this setting up is more like a train. But um, I've got some different styles of luggage there for them as well. And there's a very early 70s original mod hair Ken, which I've had since then. And this is, I got it so I could play with the girls with their Barbies. I had to have a Ken. So, um, and this is a early 70s Barbie as well. And this is, she's beautiful. She's a Barbie clone copy, but I think she's, cause I don't have one this, this old, but she's from the sixties. She's very, but it's a, it's not a vintage uniform. This is from China, but uh oh. So what have I forgotten to mention? That's everything. I'll now show you the other Barbie plane from the 2000s. And it all folds up for easy storage. There we go. Oh. Ta da! Now, this beautiful thing is I, I don't know what year, because they've, they've released a few of these since the 90s. Um, but it's a newer Barbie plane, and this was actually donated to me from one, one of my lovely subscribers, Sally. Hi, Sal. She lives in Southeast Queensland as well, and not too far away, so she comes and participates in the audience every now and again. But anyway, this was left by her complex dumpster with a fold-out Barbie camper, like a from the same period. But I've since sold that at a garage sale I had a few weeks ago. But this is the plane which considering the old vinyl one which I still love this folds out how beautiful is that now it came with no accessories nothing but I know that it had a trolley as well it had the food trays cans drinks it even had there's an ice machine here which you get little tiny cubes of ice as well and there was all these different things all these activities for the stewardess to do they all open up 
and um, the chairs go back and forth and you can I haven't tried this it probably doesn't work but you could talk on the little CB thing as well and of course I have a Ken Pilot but um, I just thought that was great a different idea it's, it's plastic it's more durable because the vinyl ones didn't really last that long unless you really looked after them but um, these would last for a long time. The accessories don't. It came with a lot. It would have been great to have them. But they were very, very expensive when they came out at the time. And um, yeah, it's missing its back things here as well. But um, I'll probably sell this now that I've shown you. But um, I thought it's a really cool thing. So, and I think the wings, wings fold up as well. So yeah, it still folds up quite nicely. So now I'll show you my favorite of all. And look at this. <laughs> See, we got music. Do you like that? Now, Bratz. I have become more and more a fan of Bratz. That I never was at the time when they came out, but I can stop now. But, um, I started off buying the vehicles. I thought the vehicles were really cool. I thought the vehicles were really cool. I'm gonna do a show on those. I've got some of the great vehicles. But uh, this is one also, the, the Bratz Jet from the uh, Bratz Forever Diamonds range. And there was this, there's also the big bus, which they um, also released, released every few years at the time with the Rock Angels and Flashback Fever and this and there was another one. But how cool is this? Two dolls actually can fit in it. There's no pilot. There we go. But it lights up, as you can see. That pops down. And you see there, there's a television screen and Mamacita, you got that? Yeah, cool. And at the back there's storage as well. And the wheels pop up and down. Yeah, that way. But um, I love it. It came with some, these are some of the Forever Diamonds dolls. Oh, not again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have Bratz dolls, I don't care. Don't judge me. I can't see. Now, I don't know the girls' names. I just, they look too alike. I just, I don't know. There's some Bratz collectors online which know everything. Every single little beauty mark, they, they know who the, the doll is. But um, there's two of them. And they came with some, a whole suitcase full of makeup and accessories and drink and everything they need for a little private jet trip and some brushes and another another little makeup case. But yeah, I'm gonna do more on Bratz because um, I think it's a line from MGA, which um, is so well made, so well designed and won a lot of awards actually. And the Bratz are coming back this year, very, very soon um, for collectors. So it'll be very interesting to see what, what they look like because the, the release of 2015 of Bratz was really sad because they, they aimed at just as the kids, you know, the, the spoil sports they are. And um, they didn't go well because the, the collectors weren't interested in them at all. So um, they're doing them again with more fashion edge and style than ever before. So um, I might do something on that if I can afford them off Amazon. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I've never ordered anything off American Amazon before, but we'll give it a go. So that is my evolution from the 1970 Barbie Friendship vinyl to the MGA Bratz Jet. Um, can't wait to see what's coming in the future. I hope they can do more stuff like this if it takes off. So I might do some, if we've got time, a little what's in my box or something. And now we have some time for what's in my box. 
I went to a car boot last weekend. I got some cool things, but I've also thrown in some stuff that I have been, I found last time in my crate that I was going through. So starting off, I have, this is, this was, um, which car boot was it? Oh, you wouldn't know anyway, but we've got some, some really nice car boots in Southeast Queensland when the weather's good. So a very rare Spider-Man. Which, which way does he go? That way. So you never, I've never seen one like this. His head turns, but he's pretty much fixed, but in that cool crouching position, I might get five bucks for that or something. And then I've got this really cool, now there was a line called Navy Star. Hello. I'm so sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's Sally. Come in. She has absolutely no concept of time. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one, Sally is a lovely subscriber who also lives not too far away, South East Queensland. She donated the, the Barbie plane that you just saw, the middle one, the big pink one. So thank you, Sal, for that. You're welcome. Um, I haven't seen you for a while. You look amazing, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. How, it's been Absolutely a few weeks, isn't amazing. it? Thank you so much. Oh, God, you've so much weight. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> No one really has really noticed, but, no, you're, but you're it's, fantastic. it's 17 kilos now. I'm so proud of you. I'm doing the keto plan, which is not a diet because it's forever. You look fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, now I'm all flustered. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> thank you, Sal. There will be refreshments out on the night later. Thank you. <laughs> Novi Stars. This is from MGA too, who brought out Bratz, I think, a line they tried all different sort of space alien girls that have come to Earth to shop and party. And I've got a whole line of these, I'll be doing a show, and when I see them, I, she cost me a dollar and she talks. I'm guessing her batteries are flat. I'll have to check, but she usually says something. So that's a Novi Star. She was a dollar, and yes, I have some Monster High dolls because they're so cool. I um, love all the original old Universal Monster movies, which these were the relatives of. This is a really tall one. Um, I don't know if it's 28 or something inches tall. She's called, let me think, Gul Goliope? It's not, oh, anyway, she was, she was made from a science, in a science, scientist's lab. And she was only a dollar. She doesn't have any shoes or anything, and her hair's not too bad. But um, for a dollar, I thought, yeah, I'll have her. So that's... Long legs there, she's got some very long legs, but her shoes would have been cool. And there's another late one. Hello. Hola. Everyone. How are you? Hello. How are you? Have a seat. Talk about a lady or audience this evening. Oh, my Lord. You're not a lady. Late. <laughs> I'm not a lady. You're not a lady, no. He's a very good Italian soccer player, actually. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> There's a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Like the Matchbox Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. How exciting. What is a Chitty Chitty what Bang Bang, I hear you say? Oh, you pretty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you. don't remember that? Dick Van Dyke. Yes, Dick oh. Van Dyke, very good. From the mid 60s. And I do have a big one that I'm a bit embarrassed to show you in because he was hanging on a, it was hanging on a string and I've got to fix it, it broke. But this was a beautiful big Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It does have the other, now that means something like that. But yeah, flies, beautiful cars from that era. So, and also, we have, okay, maybe I better stop, because this is maybe for next, oh, one more thing, this is, this is really rare, this is from Aliens, the, the, the loader, which way does it go? Yeah, this is the, the Ripley, you know what, if you've, everyone's seen Aliens, and this is the loader that she has the big fight with the Queen with. But I can't find the Ripley figure that fits it. I'm still looking. If anyone can help, she's very rare and very expensive. I'll probably never have it. So, um, but yeah, I thought that was a very cool, rare item. So we've got more coming. I've run out of time now with everything we've done. So 
Thank you, everyone. See, you've come at the end. You've missed out. Oh, so sorry. I'm That's, always late. Yeah, I know. yeah, 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 I'll yeah. Be there one day. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, audience. And we'll have something lovely and interesting and exciting coming up very, very soon. Thank you very much. Woohoo! Where's Penny? Where's the cat? Penny! And it all folds up for easy storage. Whoops. Oh, I've taken the tablecloth with it. <laughs> then my. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Hello. Do you want to play? Ow. Ow! Look at my scratches. Hello, beautiful. Can I just pet you? Hello. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Bitch! Oh. <laughs> Boys, do you want to come down? Do you want to come down? Come on. Do you want to come down? Come on. You just want to watch from there? Okay. She's going to watch from there. <laughs>